30 minutes later. Howdy. Hello. Hey. Am I on video? 30 minutes later. <gasps> oh, I am so cool. All right, but anyway, we're going to get decent fish. I didn't get my sunglasses. It's all right. Eventually, we'll go. All right, I found a sand flea. Freaking monster while I was looking for ghost shrimp. That's a good one. A little mole crab. Great bait. So I'm just gonna run one hook rig this time, just a pre-tied. I tied it myself rig and hooked the sand flea. There we go and cast this joker out. I'm gonna have to walk out a little bit to get past this first sandbar. It's kind of a little far. But I don't mind doing a little walking, I'm already wet. So, ooh, let's do a cast. There we go, that's what I want. Hope I get a big red. There we go. All right, that rod set. All right, so this one I'm gonna use the golden ghost crab. My other one, I just had that sand flea on it. This one's just a single rig I tied up with a single dropper loop and a number two owner hook. So, cut me a small piece off here. And I'm gonna tip this one with a little bit of shrimp and cast it out. And this one is the Spinfisher 2500. This is what I got for Christmas on a Penn Battalion 2 inshore rod. So, which I'm, I mean, it's just a seven foot rod. It's gonna be my widening, widening rod. And this is what I call it, that five pound trout on in the kayak. It's already been broken in, which is awesome. Can't ask for any better break in. But I'm gonna cast this sucker out. Uh, not as far. I'm gonna fish this right on top of the bar here. But you can see that first sandbar right there where the waves are breaking. I'm fishing in between it with this shorter rod. And the other one I have past that first sandbar. You, if you have a couple rods to use, you want to stagger them. Cover some water and find out where these fish are. Whiting stay pretty shallow. So that's what this one's going to be is a shallow, shallow setup. So that one's set. Yeah, both these rods set. We'll see what we can do out here. There we go. Hey, mom. <laughs> there we go. On the small rod. It's, I don't know what it is, but it freaking ripped it out of my hand. Right where I thought there would be one too in that cut. Hey, come on. What is it? Oh, that's a stud whiting. Yeah, we'll keep them. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, uh. I got a bag Yeah, that's perfect. That's a stud whiting right there. But he ate the golden ghost crab right there, fish gum. So, hey, it works. I'm telling you, go pick you up some. That's awesome. All right, that whiting is in the cooler. You can go back out. It's always fun when you catch them on kind of light tackle while the big rod's still out with that sand flea on it. But we're going to cast back out again and see what we can get. There we go. Cool thing about these pin spin fisher sixes and pretty much all the spin fishers, they are IPX5 sealed, so they're pretty much waterproof reels. 
So they're, they hold up real well out in the surf, out kayaking, whatever else you may be doing. And they hold plenty of line. I got 15 pound power pro on here, so plenty of line for whatever you may want to do or fish for. What you got over there? Monster? Real mine, man. That was on the pink fish gun, wasn't it? Oh, that's a keeper whiting. Look at that. Good fish. Good fish. And then, no, that was on the Golden Ghost Crab fish gun. Only. No shrimp. Awesome. Awesome. Heck yeah. Cool. And you tied that rig yourself, didn't you? Yes, I did. Look at that. That's a good looking rig. Sweet. Cool. Go put them in the cooler. The fun thing about this type of fishing is you can literally, if you're not from here, bring like a bass rod or a catfish rod and do the same thing. Except if it's not like, you know, if it's a freshwater rod, you definitely want to take care of it. Don't dunk it in the water. Try not to get it splashed. Don't get sand on it and give it a good rinse and oil when you're done. Stuff like this you can take care of and it'll last you years in the salt. As long as you wash it off after you're done and then just give a few drops of oil every now and then on it. It'll last you years. But I'm gonna cast back out. Let's see if we can get another one. Looks like one. There you go, that's a solid one. Yeah, that's a good one. Cool. On what, the fish gum? Fish gum. Awesome. Oh, look here, Hank. Yeah, you better go on now. <laughs> Sneaky little thing. Well, we are out here today. It is beautiful here in Alabama. Look at this beautiful January day. We're doing pretty good so far. Uh, it's not a crazy, insane, super fast bite or anything, but the fish gum is paying off. Uh, we're catching some whiting, enough for dinner. It's what we're trying to get after. Uh, but we've caught a few already, and then also have a big whiting head out there trying to get a big redfish or whatever's gonna hit it. So. Well, let's just keep fishing. There we go. Got one. There we go. Ah, it's a good one. They're fun on light tackle. Man. What is it? Whiting. There we go. Come on. A little whiting, I think. Yeah, it's a good whiting. Okay. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's a good one right there. It's a, it's a nice whiting. It's a nice whiting on the fish gum. Look at that. Awesome, we're gonna throw him in the cooler. Now, you see where I'm throwing? I'm not throwing in that real calm water, I'm throwing in this kind of rough turbulent water because if you can see I'm standing on a small bar, there's a deep pocket there that I, you know, that's a really good area to hold fish. Uh, we already fished there, didn't catch nothing. So now I'm trying the other side of it. And it's just a, it's just a deep pocket. These, these fish are sitting there just trying to find food that's getting stirred up by the waves. So and we're taking advantage of that. <laughs> oh, there's one. Oh man. There we go. There we go. Light tackle is so fun for these. I still have it. I think it's swimming, swimming towards me. There we go. What is it? Oh yeah, another mess. Another whiting. He ain't big, but he's still a keeper. So, which whiting, they don't have a size limit on them. But normally, you know, a real, real tiny one, you're not gonna keep. But this one's, this one's perfect. And look at that, golden ghost crab fish gum. So, oh, let's get him in the cooler. All right, mom has another one. Look at that. This is all on handmade, hand-tied pompano rigs as well. Hers is, and mine's just a single drop rig. Yeah, I made this like I used to. There he goes. <laughs> Got you a bigger one. Thank you. <laughs> Good job. All right, so I found they're pretty much right in between us and that first sandbar, on the edge of that first sandbar. So 
They're all hanging out there. Then we can get another one. Go. Go. Oh, I got a good one. Oh, you gotta love white. You gotta love light tackle fishing. Ah, there we go. Dang, this one's pulling good. Oh, that's a little bit better fish. Oh yeah, that's a good whiting. That's a keeper there. It's a keeper! Look at that. He really liked that fish gum too. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm not, I don't get free fish gum. I don't get paid by anybody to say this. But this stuff here is working awesome. So that's a good whiting too. So he's going to go in the cooler. All right, I just want to show you what I'm using. So this is just a homemade rig. I have a swivel 15 pound mono. I did a dropper loop, which they're all over the internet, how to tie a dropper loop to a owner number two hook. This is their inshore hook. It's a pretty sweet hook. It's working great out here. You don't need nothing huge. Uh, that's a piece of fish gum. Come down to a small clip and then a one and a half ounce pyramid weight. So really, really simple rig. And then I'm throwing it on the pin, Battalion 2 inshore rod. Uh, this one's a seven foot extra fast, eight to 15 pound mono one. And then it's pin spin fisher, six 2500 with 15 pound power pro. And this is a great, great combo for light tackle, surf fishing and inshore fishing. So I just want to do a tackle breakdown. We're going to get back to fishing. This is one of those little speckled crabs. That's yeah. cool. Look how look how pretty colors they are. Pretty colors they are. Speckled crab. That's cool. All right, turn them back. <laughs> there you go. Go swim away. Get bigger. Well, I think we did all right. Got some whiting. Uh, used some fish gum and some shrimp. Nothing too crazy, but it was a pretty consistent bite. So we're gonna go home and clean those up and probably cook them. But uh, what a beautiful day it is in early January here in South Alabama. Now that front pushed through yesterday, pushed these blue skies in, but it's kind of cold. So it's a straight north wind. But we're gonna head in. I appreciate you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button down below if you have, I appreciate you. I wanna thank the good Lord above for everything he does for us. And we'll see you later.